Hello everyone. Hope this video find you in good health in this COVID times. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about setting of known standard space group P21 by N to standard space group P21 by C and test for missed symmetry with addsin using Breton. The programs used are Mercury. Onyx2, Selection, Platon, and WinGX. All these programs are available free of charge for the academic users. First, what is standard and non standard setting of the space group? P21 by C, space group number 14 in the International Table of Crystallography is the most frequently occurring space group in Cambridge Crystographic Data Center CCDC. The crystal system is monoclinic and full symbol is P121 by C1 with unique axis B in the standard setting. So P21 by C is the standard space group and P21 by A, P21 by B, and P21 by N are known standard space group variant of P21 by C. So first, uh, let's see the space group P21 by N. What the different symbol indicate in this space group? The full symbol is P121 by N1. What the meaning of each number in this? Space group. The first letter P tells about the brevious lattice and it is permitted. Then there are three viewing directions A, B, and C. So along the direction A, I have written letter 1 mean no symmetry element in the direction of A mean identity. In the direction of B, a 2-1 screw axis parallel to B direction and a glide plane N perpendicular to B. And again in the direction of C, there is no symmetry element, so it is identity. Similarly, space group P21 by C, it is represented like this. The first letter is brevis lattice primitive. And then there are three weaving direction A, B, and C. In the direction of A, there is no symmetry element, and hence it is identity written as one. In the direction of B, there are two symmetry elements: a screw axis, two one screw axis, parallel to B direction, and a glide plane C perpendicular to B. And in the C direction, there is no symmetry element. Sometimes we are getting some alert in check sheet. The one alert is alternate setting of space group P21 by C, P21 by N. And the second alert is getting like this. Adsim detects new pseudo centrosymmetry or Adsim suggests possible pseudo new space group C2 by C. So sometimes we are getting this type of alert in check sheet. So how to get the read of this alert. So how to fix this alert? Let's see. Okay, so this is the finely solved structure in space group P21 by N which is a non-standard setting. The final R factor is around 4.5% with very nice looking F observed versus F calculated graph. The maximum and minimum cubics are quite reasonable. The merging R factor is very nice. It is around 3.34%. Everything is looking so nice and almost green in color. So now how to uh, change this space group P21 by N into P21 by C. So for this I am going to open the software WinGX from here going to file project start step select new project 
and I am taking the file ins for this purpose. Now I am going to open this and OK. So just press this button and it will open the SX graph. This is the structure. Save as ins and I am going to refine with selects 97. I am using this version selects 97 for this purpose. And you can see the final R factor is 4.54. Okay. Now go to the button Analyze, Platone, Graphical Menu. And a window will open up. In this symmetry column, you will find an option Add Sim SHX. Press this one. And there is a new file written named platon.res in the same folder. Close it. Here you can see a new file platon.res. If you are going to open this, then you can find new p21 by c and the earlier was p21 by n. Now what I have to do, I will delete the old res file. From here and rename this file as k-2. Okay, now I am going back to WinGX, define, open res file, file, save as ins and exit. Now define with select 97. Okay, so R factor is around 5.02. Let's see. Okay, save INS file. I'm going to refine it once again. R factor around 4.85. Okay, now look the file. Let's look the file in OLX2. I'm pausing. Using OLX2 again, opening OLX2 and I am opening this folder. Now the INS drag here and now I have my structure in P21 by C. Everything looking nice. Let's refine one more time. Define uh, here the resolution is brown, around 0 0.76, so we need only a uh, resolution of 2, 2 theta 50 degree. So, this I am going to omit 0 50 and refine one more time. So now R factor is around 4.48 percent. Shift it stabilize and everything is looking nice. So in this way you can change the non-standard setting P21 by N to P21 by C. Okay. Now come to the second point, second point of the uh, tutorial by using the add sim again to uh, find out the missed symmetry. I am taking an example of molecule in space group CC. Let's uh, open this structure in OLX2. Okay, so this is the another structure sold in space group CC, and this space group by chosen by the uh, integration software by default, and I sold this structure in space group CC. Uh, but uh, upon uh, the validation, I am getting an alert like this one, add sim detects new pseudo space group. So, and the space group suggested is C2 by C. So, 
so let's first visualize space group cc in some uh, program like mercury here uh, this is the structure visualization in software program mercury and to visualize the uh, symmetry elements in space group cc i am going here display symmetry elements and it will display the symmetry element present in the unit cell Detecting. so only symmetry element present is c glide plane and no other symmetry element is present in space group cc so there is only one symmetry element the glide plane c okay so i am going to close it and let's go back to the structure so now how to convert this space group uh, c2 by cc into c2 by c using platon i am again going to the program WinGX and I am going to open the required file on the desktop I have placed this file and I am going to open the INS file open ok so here the space group is cc i have to change this space group cc into c2 by c for this uh, this is the code the structure uh, i find once which selects 97 now the r factor is around 6.47% let's go to analyze platon graphical menu and again the same tab add sim shx i'll press it and it will do some calculation in the background and a new file named platon.res is generated in the same folder okay i am going to the folder and here I have the file Platon RES. Double click it and a new space group C2 by C is here and this CC is old one. So what is the where is the old RES file? Uh, here it is. I am going to delete it and rename the new file as the old one. G A one dash two okay again open the WinGX define open res save as ins and exit and refine R factor around 6.89 percent now you can see the structure is changed into the space group c2 by c find one more time good now now i am going to close it and minimize this i'm going to again open the olex2 and the new file this one and i am going to open here so now you can see the space group is changed to c2 by c and there is no more alert regarding the this checks now you can see the asymmetric unit is only half and i am going to refine Uh, everything is nicely settled. Of course, the data quality is little low, indicated by I equals sigma value. 
I'm just taking the data up to uh, 50 degree. Okay, a little bit improve the data and become orange from red to orange. That's nice. Define one more time. Okay, so shift is now almost zero. It's zero, and F observers is F calculated graph is looking nice. Okay, so if I'm going to generate the whole structure, just type grow. And this is the complete structure. Okay, so if now I am going to open this file in Mercury for the visualization of this symmetry element, what I have to do, I am going to go to open Mercury, file open, and now I open this C file. Okay, now this is a unit cell in space group C2 by C. Display, go to symmetry elements. Now I have the symmetry element, the light plane C, two fold axis in green color and center of inversion in orange color. Let's increase the size of little bit for the inversion center. So now there is two fold axis, there is glide plane C in uh, some pink color, in orange color there is central symmetry and the axis, two fold axis is shown in the green color. Okay, so thanks for watching the video.